Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emma and I'm about to set off on a solo backpacking trip around Central and South America. Literally cannot believe that today is the day, it still hasn't sunk in. But I do remember feeling like that last time I went backpacking, it probably didn't sink in until I was like on the plane and I was like, okay, this is happening right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be the first in a series of backpacking South America vlogs. So if you want to follow along with the trip, make sure you are subscribed and also check out my other social medias. I've got my Instagram, my travel Instagram and my TikTok because I'm going to be posting more details about the trip and everyday stuff on there. So it's currently 12.45, I'm just about to set off to head to the airport. This morning has been a bit stressful, I basically decided really last minute to change the backpack that I'm taking. So here it is, I've got my little bum bag and I've got my smaller backpack as well, that's just some toast I was eating, ignore that. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that now. McDonald's on the way to the airport because it's actually just gone one o'clock I've not really eaten today I'm starving I'd rather buy it now than once I get through the airport plus don't know how long it's going to take with classic Manchester airport hopefully it's not too bad I've actually got quite a long journey to get to Colombia it's like 48 hours maybe more than that because I didn't want to pay for an expensive flight basically I was looking around for cheapest flights to get into South America and I found that Colombia was the cheapest but I found that you can fly there from Madrid for only 200 and something I think I paid 270 direct from Madrid so I thought right I'm going to Madrid instead of paying like 600 pound plus so yeah I'm heading to Madrid today and then tomorrow I'll be going on to Colombia I've just got a chicken nugget meal and off we go to the airport we are almost at the airport now i've just been looking up my hostel when i get to madrid i know like roughly where it is because i actually used to live in madrid so in the summer of 2019 i lived and worked in madrid as an au pair for almost two months and it was honestly one of the best summers of my life. I've not been back to Madrid since then but obviously because I spent so much time there I do know the city quite well. I'll show you my hostel in Madrid once I get there but it looks really nice and I think it was only £16 for the night which is pretty good for a European city. I have just landed in Madrid, it's like half night, local time. I've got Madrid Airport is and I'm carrying this big backpack. If I look red, it's because I feel like I'm going to die carrying this backpack. <laughs> I'm walking to the metro, but I forgot how much of a distance it is. Good morning from Madrid. So it's currently half 11. I just checked out of my hostel. The hostel that I stayed in was called The Hat Madrid. Obviously I was only there for a night and I didn't really see that much because I got there pretty late last night but I would recommend it from everything that I saw. I just checked out of the hostel and I actually left my bag there because I'm going to go back for it later. So my flight to Colombia is not until midnight tonight so I've literally got the whole day in Madrid. To be honest I don't have a ton of stuff planned, I actually don't have anything planned just because as I said I've lived in Madrid before so I know the city quite well. I've done all the like touristy stuff so obviously I'm not here to like see Madrid I'm just like laying over here so yeah this hostel is actually really like centrally located it's right near Sol which is like one of the main areas in Madrid but I think I'm gonna walk like 10 minutes to Gran Via which is Gran Via is like one of Madrid's like main streets if not like the main street just I have a walk down memory lane of like where I used to go when I lived here um, I've got a particular Starbucks in mind, one that I used to go to. It's on Gran Via and I know it's got a really good seating area to like sit and do work. So I think I'm heading, I think I know where I'm going to get to that one. But yeah, there was also a supermarket facing the hostel. So I went in and just got a couple of snacks. I am currently just sat in Plaza de España, 
which is like one of the main like central squares yeah the starbucks that i was in is just like behind me there and yeah when i lived here i tried every single starbucks obviously and that was probably my favorite it's got a really good like upstairs cafe with a lot of working space last time i was here i was a student so i was doing like student work and this time i was doing editing in there i was probably there for like three hours i think because i've got loads and loads of videos to edit but yeah i left starbucks because i have been having a nightmare with the airline to get to columbia so the airline that i'm flying with tonight is called Aviantha. I've never flown with them before. I think it is like the airline of Colombia or an, like a Latin American airline. So I basically, long story short, originally I was planning on going hand luggage only. I think I said this in my packing video. And then pretty last minute, I realized that I'm gonna have to check the bag basically because of my contact lenses. I've got too many liquids, which is really annoying that I'm having to pay like just for the contact lenses. Anyway, long story short, I've been trying to purchase a checked bag for probably about two weeks now on the website. And every time I got to the payment page, the payment was just failing. I don't know, it's obviously a problem with their website and I actually just posted it on my travel Instagram, on my stories. So many of you guys said that you had the same problem with this airline. I did my online check-in just then when I was in Starbucks and it was saying to me that to check the bag in the online check-in, it was now coming up at a price of 150 euros. So I was like, oh my God, previously it was 49 pounds but I was like what can I do I'm gonna have to pay it so tried paying it um, the payment failed again so I was just at my wits end at this point and then I thought you know what I need to leave Starbucks and go for a walk I was like I'm gonna try and phone the airline one more time so I found the Spanish number like the help number for Spain and after waiting about 40 minutes on hold I managed to get through to an agent an actual person not a robot about an hour later I have successfully managed to pay for my bag charge me the original price so I've only paid 49 pound I say only obviously that's still so expensive but I mean 49 pound is better than like 200 so I can relax now so yeah that's the plan also Plata de España is looking very like Central Park vibes today with the sun out so when I got to the hostel last night it was about I think it was like 11 and everyone in the room was in bed everyone was just doing their own thing so it was a little bit awkward because it was like a super silent room but at the same time I was kind of glad because I'm only here for one night I was really tired from hopefully now the flight tonight is gonna be more smooth sailing now that I've got that sorted I was surprised yesterday I had no problems with Ryanair so it can be really hit and miss I've flown Ryanair probably like hundreds of times sometimes i have no problems like yesterday and sometimes i have cancelled flights delays blah 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 but luckily yesterday the flight was fine the only thing it was full i mean absolutely full of men and boys it was like they were all going on like stag parties or like lads holidays but they were so drunk some of them were like up in the aisles like shouting and stuff and i was walking to start lining up at the gate and there was this group of boys in front of me who were probably like my age or maybe a little bit younger than me it ended up being like right behind them because I walk like quite fast and one of them turned around and he went in like a proper proper bank accent he went oh you get her snapchat to the other ones like about me and I just walked past them I was like this is so awkward please don't ask me for my snapchat also I filmed this whole clip and I actually can't even tell if you guys can see me or not because I've just realized it's really bright where I'm sat I am at Madrid airport I just got through security and the bag dropped and everything I actually got through like super super fast I dropped my bag in literally like five minutes I walked up to the check-in desk and I was the only person there so I don't I don't know where all the other people are who are getting on my flight. Now I am just sitting with a coffee waiting to find out what gate my flight is going to be at. I'm really tired now because it's like half ten, it's been such a long day. I am walking to the gate now, I feel like it's only just like starting to sink in. Now that I'm walking to the gate by myself I'm like, oh my god what am I doing? I'm about to fly to Columbia on my own. But yeah, 
the next time you see me I will probably be on the plane because I think we're going to be boarding soon. I can't remember if I've explained this but where I'm flying to, it's out of breath this airport is just one of the biggest in the world. Um, so I'm about to fly to Bogota, which is good, which is the capital of Colombia. That's not my final destination. When I get to Bogota, I'm going to be getting on another flight, like straight away, going to Medellin, which is another city in Colombia. Why am I so out of breath? First flight to Bogota, it's direct, I think it is nearly 11 hours and then from Bogota to Medellin it is I think 1 hour or like 50 minutes. I'm going to put the camera away because it's embarrassing how out of breath I am. my hostel and um, I took a taxi from the airport because I'd be a bad backpacker. No, I just thought I'm going to take a taxi. It cost me £11 which is not too bad. It was like a 35 minute journey but I was like I'm so tired. I've got all my bags. I just got here. I've got no internet so I was like I'm just going to take a taxi. I called the taxi using an app called Cabify I think it is. I'll write it on screen. So I have just got to the hostel, as I said, I was literally there like five minutes and I made my first friend. Um, do you want to be in it? This is my first friend, Anna. <laughs> hey. She's from Brazil. Curitiba, but I live in São Paulo. I've been here two nights already and she's got three more. Two more yeah. nights? Three more nights. So we just came out for a walk around the neighborhood, went to the ATM, got some cash and I'm just going to take my backpack back to the hostel because it's too heavy and I'm like sweating, I've got pants on, it's boiling. So we just stopped for some lunch and we met up with one of Anna's friends from Morocco. So he speaks French and Anna speaks French as well actually, so all three of us. We're having some food here at Los Patios Hostel. This is like the other like main hostel that you can stay at but we're staying in El Viajero. I ordered avocado toast. He Did also you? ordered Best avocado choice. toast <laughs> and iced coffee and Anna got juice. Oh, it's so bright up here but Anna has just brought me to another hostel. We're just doing a tour of hostels this <laughs> afternoon. Um, Anna came here yesterday like did you come here last night? Yeah. For a party. The rooftop anyone can just come up here so it has really really good views. Let me show you guys. How nice is this? And we were just saying it seems like every hostel in this city has a rooftop pool like our hostel has one as well which i've not actually seen yet because we've not checked in but like every hostel and hotel looking around has something on the rooftop so that's quite cool it's finally three o'clock so i've been able to check into my room at last literally been here since i think i got here at like 10 a.m. so I've been waiting like five hours just to be able to get into my room. Also my hostel bed has got a fan it's like very dramatically blowing my hair in the wind. I think I've got a bit of sunburn as well from when me and Anna were just walking around town then. But yeah I forgot to tell you about my flight so my flight from Madrid to Bogota was fine it was I think it was 10 hours altogether and then my flight from Bogota to Medellin, where I am now, was supposed to be only 30 minutes. However, it ended up taking, I think it took two and a half hours, because basically the pilot couldn't, said that he couldn't land the plane at the airport. So we were like hovering above the airport for about 40 minutes before he came on the announcement thing and said that he's gonna have to drive, not drive us, he's gonna have to fly us to another airport that's how tired i am so i ended up landing at this airport which is like was in the middle of nowhere really compared to where i wanted to be it was like a five hour drive when i looked it up on google maps so we landed there and i'm panicking thinking oh my god how am i gonna get to Medellin if it's like a five hour drive then after about probably an hour of being sat there he came on the announcement again the captain and he was like yeah, the weather conditions have improved now, so I'm going to fly you all back to Medellin, where we're supposed to be. But yeah, just had a random little detour to an airport that was five hours away. Yeah, that was my morning, so I ended up landing here at, I think I landed at half eight, 
I was meant to land at 6am so I got here a bit later but it didn't really make that much of a difference because I couldn't check into the hostel until 3 anyway. So yeah I've just checked into my room now, I'm going to actually end this vlog here because then I'm just going to start a whole new vlog from here which will be like my first actual Colombia vlog this was just like my travel day vlog hope you all enjoyed flying with me to Colombia it definitely was not entirely stress-free as you guys saw I had a problem with the first airline with my baggage and then we had the detour this morning at the airport but I finally made it here I am in Colombia solo and yeah honestly I since I got here I've had such a great day so far and it's only quarter past three and I've got more plans for like this afternoon and tonight with my friends so I'm literally going to start a new vlog from here and that'll show you like the rest of today and then my next few days here so yeah if you guys enjoyed please give the video a thumbs up leave me a little comment below obviously make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one and I will see you all in a video very soon Bye.